Many are responsible for the growth and success of the USA Water Polo Women's National Team, but only one led the program into the age of Olympic competition, rising from underdog to world power. Prior to his work with Team USA, Guy Baker helped resurrect a UCLA water polo program that had been dropped. National titles followed. In the late 90s, he joined Team USA and took the squad to the first ever Olympic Games to offer women's water polo, winning silver in 2000. In 2001, he was charged with leading the national team pipeline. Junior World Championship medals followed. In 2003, Baker and Team USA won the first of two World Championships during his tenure and followed in 2004 with bronze at the Olympic Games. After an undefeated 2007, Team USA won silver at the 08 Olympic Games in Beijing. Baker has remained involved in the game as an administrator and coach, spearheading the launch of the USA Water Polo Olympic Development Program. He is now the executive director of the La Mirinda Water Polo Club. Guy was able to bring the best out of me by challenging me, by putting responsibility on me early on, um, realizing that I thrived kind of in that leadership position, but also realizing that I still needed to be guided. So there was a lot of like back and forth, but I think I needed that push. And he definitely molded me into the international water polo player that I, that I had become and I appreciate that. He was a great mentor to me, both as a coach and someone trying to uh, move the organization uh, forward. And I thought uh, we had a lot of fun working together uh, and I learned so much about the game of water polo, uh, about the creating structures around the team and the game. The guy's always done a great job at uh, competing and, and working hard to put his teams in the best position to excel, uh, but also at the same time working for the growth of the sport. Women's water polo in the United States would not be where we are today without Guy. He created the pipeline, he created the opportunity for women from all over our country to be able to play. And nobody really understands how much uh, uh, time and effort he put into creating the pipeline. I was there playing for the men's team, I would see him there at five in the morning and he'd be there till midnight, one in the morning. The amount of work he put in is absolutely the biggest reason for our success here in the United States, without a doubt. I could always talk about water polo with him at any time, and it was great to talk to such a great water polo mind about X's and O's, about what we were doing as our team, what when we scouted other teams. So I'm such a water polo, um, I guess, nerd and I love talking about water polo, so that's one of the things that I really admired that I could do with Guy and that I miss. Seeing Guy out there coaching our 12 and unders for uh, our girls program at La Mirinda, I don't think a lot of the parents or the players even recognize quite the, the level of a coach that they have. That's because Guy's not about that. There's, there's not an ego in that, but, uh, but it's funny to walk out on the pool deck and see him in the water coaching these 12 and unders, working with them and do, r helping them run through the drills. Uh, that's really brought a lot of joy, I know, to him. Wherever guy goes, his teams improve, they get better, uh, excel to be their best. He's absolutely been one of the single greatest influences uh, on me as a person, but also as a coach, you know, and um, for that I'll be forever grateful. But, you know, really I think the biggest thing that sticks out in my mind is is uh, there, there's nobody uh, that outworks Guy Baker.